you guys want to come to Universal Studios with me? Well, too bad, bitch, you're coming anyway. Let's go. Vlog. I have a crap load of laundry to do. <laughs> if you aren't aware of how cheap I am, um, I don't do laundry at my apartment complex. We do have a washer and dryer, but it's $5 a load. And I have like so many loads to do per week. I go through so much freaking laundry, you guys. One, because of this half marathon training and just how much I go to the gym. I wear like a new workout outfit every single day and it's soiled with dirty, salty sweat so I don't get to wear it all that often. Then I work at an ice cream shop where I wear big bulky sweatshirts because it's cold and it's winter. Uh, but you know, after two wears, your sleeves are just full of ooey gooey brownie ice cream that I don't get that many wears of that either. Now the point is, is that I have a lot of laundry, um, but I go home to my parents to do it because they have an industrial size washer and dryer. They just, it's just a normal household washer and dryer, but it's for free. And it gets me to go out there and visit them and Dave and Noodles. Ooh, trying to make sure you guys don't see my undesirables. How embarrassing. I hope, the, hope nothing too showy is showing. Um, but I haven't been able to go back home in quite some time. I think the last time I visited home was over a month ago and I usually go every two weeks on the dot. I've just been really busy, as you guys know, at work. Um, a bunch of people quit, so my hours have gone up. And I've really just been trying to like hunker down and focus on social media and getting back into the swing of things. And so in these past few months, I have been doing just like small loads of laundry and sucking up the $5 bill to pay for the dumb laundry machine. Again, riveting vlog content, you guys. I'm doing my laundry. Wow, I'm such a such a content creator in LA. Um, but one of the things I did want to update you on while I'm sorting through all this laundry, because I am about to head to my parents to actually get some laundry done, is the half marathon update. So... Usually when I do these updates, I'm about to go for a run. Um, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I haven't run all week. We are now two and a half weeks out from this half marathon and I didn't run all week. I didn't feel like it. I was tired. I had no motivation to go running. And I think what I'm learning from this experience is one, I just don't like running. I don't know why I thought training for a half marathon would make me fall in love with lacing up my tennis shoes and going for a nice trot throughout the neighborhood. No, all I keep thinking is I can't wait to never do this again. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys this because, you know, I'm not going for some crazy PR time. I'm not trying to like run the fastest half marathon of anybody ever. But this was about me like training for something, being more disciplined and like having a goal to work towards. And so I am a little disappointed that like, I haven't run in five days. That's not part of the discipline. Like I'm, I'm supposed to be sticking to a training plan and I'm not right now. Um, but hoping to get back into the swing of things because I've been feeling gross lately. I've been eating a ton of ice cream, which I'm realizing is like my drug of choice, like just binging on ice cream. I can't seem to stop. So I have a lot to reflect on this week. I have a lot of new goals to set, but just wanted to give you guys that update because training's hard and I'm not perfect. It's not easy for me, um, but it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> All right, laundry's all sorted. Now I gotta take all this crap to my car. So I have two laundry baskets. I have um, a bunch of ice cream to give to my family. We have some family members coming in from out of town because we're going to a birthday party this weekend for my Uncle Joe. So I'm just the dessert plug at this point. So bringing everybody ice cream. And then I have my technology bag. We'll see if I actually get any editing done while at home. And then just my regular overnight bag. So let's go spend the next two days with family. Um, so I am currently in line for Taco Bell because I think my parents have food for us when I head over there because we have family staying with us right now. Uh, but I haven't eaten all day and it's been a hard week. And so I'm going to get a chicken quesadilla. Um, I probably shouldn't be going to Taco Bell because I already haven't been running and I haven't been eating well. It's not even that I haven't even been eating well. I've, I've been eating bad. I've been eating bad. Um, but the price of happiness these days is uh, Crunchwrap Supreme and Baja Blast. So let's get it done. <laughs> but while I'm waiting for my food, I also wanted to mention another cool thing that I did this week. So while I haven't been back to my parents in a long time, I did just see my dad earlier this week because he was cashing in his Christmas present that I got him. And that was tickets to the USC women's basketball team. So we love women's sports. We have season tickets to the women's soccer team out here, but we haven't been to an SC game and that's my alum. My dad 
dad loves basketball. He's watching it all the time on TV. So these tickets were pretty exciting because we haven't been to an in-person basketball game before. And it was so much freaking fun. First of all, the USC women's team is spectacular. One of the best women's basketball players of all times coming up and currently is on our team, Juju Watkins, and she was phenomenal. What's interesting though is that we actually lost the game, but it's good news because March Madness is coming up. So we kind of needed the hard reset anyway, but it was just a really fun dad and daughter day. We also went out for food afterwards, got some burgers at a place called Love Hour and just got to hang out and chillax and be silly. So I have seen my dad recently and that was a good fun little dad daughter date. Uh, so excited to see my mom because I haven't seen her in a hot minute too. Oh no, it's raining. Let me turn off my light so I can accept my food and not be a creepy vlogger in her car with a ring light on her face. Hi there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Good secured. I'm going to drive to my parents and I'm not going to vlog while driving or eating. So see you there. Good morning. It's actually two days later. Um, but one of the other reasons I came to visit was Noodles here just had surgery. Noodles just had surgery. She had a big growth here on her shoulder. I'm not going to show you because it's all covered up and gross, but we've been keeping our patient company here, my noodles. Also, we have family in town, so we have more dogs. Hi, Shay, you wanna say hi? Duffy, Duffy. Oh, dang, let's go right over here. But last night, we went to my Uncle Joe's 60th birthday party. Lots of fun, happy birthday, Uncle Joe. Um, but my brother and Jenny couldn't make it in time because they were working late. So now we're having a breakfast, a little brunch here at my parents' house with everyone. So let's go do that. No, don't scratch it. Don't do that. Oh, my noodly poodly build a bear doodly chicken McNugget tidbit love bucket. Hi, noodles. <gasps> hello. Hello, Duffy, and hello, Shay. We got the twins here. Hello, girls. <laughs> hello, hello. You're good. Do I do Canadian bacon first? So Canadian bacon, thank you. You have the opportunity, the option if you want two on there. Two, please. Okay. The opportunity, thank you. Do you want two on yours? Uh, sure. There will be enough. Thank you. And our hollandaise. Yeah. Delicious. Yummy, yum, yumsies. Meow, 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 <laughs> And here's brunch. Eggs Benedict, bacon, coffee, and puppies. Nice. Oopsies, it was a quick weekend and I know I didn't do any vlogging, but we're leaving now. I'm going back to LA. Yeah. Do you need another bag for anything? Oh. Do you have a uh, toilet paper for me? Oh yeah. Still some up in the garage. But I don't think so. Hey, you guys want to come to Universal Studios with me? Well, too bad, bitch, you're coming anyway. Let's go. It is a Tuesday and I was invited to Universal Studios by Danny and Izzy. And considering I got a pass this past December to Universal Studios, I was like, yeah, why the heck not? I haven't been since I've gotten my pass and it's free. However, I am meeting up with them a little bit later. So I took the train in today and what a delight. All public transportation today was free. So it's election day, so that was a nice surprise. If I could be like an advocate for certain organizations, if I had like a short list, the metro system and public transportation, I would be their number one influencer if they gave me a chance. So we just trained and bust in, so let's go to Universal. Just finished Waterworld. My review is that there's a lot more murder and fire than I remember, but good stuff. Thank you. My little gone already. <laughs> we need to reload one more tape. I can do boring. Okay, one, two, three. Woo! Thank you. The French stone. Speak the flint stomachs. Those are made of mostly foam rubber. Thank you. You're welcome. 
on our second drink of the day. I got a Bahama Mama near Jurassic Park. Danny, what's been your favorite drink of the day? This pina colada. Duh. Pina colada and Bahama Mama from the Jurassic Land. We just wrote Slide of the Hippogriff twice. And now we're gonna go for three more times. <laughs> All right, just got back from Universal Studios and had a lovely time. This was only my second time going since getting my passes and I think I'll get good use out of my passes. I think, you know, as long as I go once a month, it's, I mean, if you go twice, it pays for yourself. Um, today I did spend money on drinks, which I wasn't planning on it, but you know, say la vie, I gotta start eating as clean as I can for the next two weeks before my half marathon. So a little treat before then. This is my Look how I did my hair differently today. Also, I colored my hair today with overtone. Um, it's basically like semi-permanent hair dye. It lasts like 10 washes. I bought this when I was still blonde and wanted to test out if I wanted to be a brunette. Um, and so I still have leftovers of that. So I'm just gonna use that until I run out and then permanently dye my hair again. Uh, but that's what I use to darken my hair. Uh, but one of the things we were talking about was how, hang on. Let me take my contacts out real quick. Also, you guys want to see something silly? Um, I, put, <laughs> I put all my contacts in this little bathtub. And so I just have all my dried contacts that look like bubbles of a bubble bath. Um, and then salt burn came out and now everybody thinks I'm gross. Um, that's not the plan. It's just supposed to be little bubbles in my dried contacts. Okay, it's cute, okay. Uh, but one thing about Universal Studios is that it is kind of small. You can do the entire park in a whole day. So I think what will keep things interesting is like buying food and drinks, which I don't want to do every single time. But there's really not that much to do in the park. Although I will say today, let me rinse this off. I will say I did the studio tour for the first time today in like years and it was updated. They had stuff from the movie Nope. Um, they didn't do anything from Psycho. Like normally Norman Bates comes out and is like, bah, bah, bah. Or they also drive you through the wreckage of the airplane from that one movie, like War of the Worlds, I think it is. They didn't do that, but they had this new Nope set and some like Fast and Furious stuff. So that was kind of interesting. Um, but I think my biggest gripe and one of the reasons that, I don't know, maybe I won't come as often as I want, is they closed at six. At six o'clock, we were being told to leave. And I got there around like two. So yeah, that's on me for not getting there super early. But I was like, oh, that's like... Although maybe that's a good thing. Is that like, hey, just pop on over for a little pina colada, but don't stay too long. Enjoy Harry Potter world and then you're you're good to go. I don't know. Um, but I had a good time. So stay tuned for a future vlog. I'd love to go solo and just vlog it all and enjoy my own company. Uh, but Izzy and Danny are always fun to hang out with. Jamie too. Uh, but since it's so early, like it right now, it's, I don't know, my Fitbit on because I just washed my hands. Um, it's only 7.30 right now, and I kind of was planning on being out most of the night, or at least later than now. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll watch a movie or something. I don't really watch movies. I don't really watch, um, I don't watch TV, hardly ever. I watch a lot of YouTube, that's my TV. But when it comes to movies, I only watch scary movies. They're just my favorite. Um, so I almost never volunteer to watch anything but that. So it's probably gonna be a scary movie. But when you watch a movie, this is one thing. Guys, when I used to date boys, every boy I've ever dated, they don't get comfy before a movie. And it is my biggest pet peeve because they will be like, okay, let's watch a movie. And then they'll go and they'll start and hit play. And they're like sitting there in their jeans. They don't have a drinky drink ready to go. They don't have a snack. They didn't take off their makeup or their contacts. And it always gives me so much anxiety. And so I love, one of my favorite things to do before watching a movie is being like, all right, time to wind down for the night. So I'm doing my skincare now, my contacts are out so my eyes can be comfortable. I might have a glass of wine, you guys. I opened up a bottle of wine for a video, um, I'll link it here. It was like a, a little gossipy chit chat story times about like some funny wedding videos. Uh, but I have an open bottle of wine so maybe I'll get a nice glass of wine. Put on some jinjamas, which is what my family calls pajamas. Um, and let's just go. 
Oh my God, while I'm in the bathroom, you remember the like scent sticks that I bought from Daiso like a vlog or two ago? It's already gone. It's been a week. Like I know you get what you pay for, but God damn in this economy, give me more than three uses. So don't buy that from Daiso. It won't last. I can't find my light to make this more aesthetically pleasing and not like I'm in a creepy dungeon kitchen. Uh, but I got my wine here. So let's get a little vino going. And then for dinner, I have steak, green beans, and mashed potatoes. My Aunt Kathy hooked me up at uh, my Uncle Joe's birthday party. She always sends me home with so much leftovers. This week, I don't even need to go grocery shopping. I literally have all of my dinners for the week. And it's gourmet. My Aunt Kathy's a chef. I did a whole video with her, baking with her. Um, it's from a few years ago, but it's still one of my most treasured videos. Um, so check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Let me heat up my bread. Oh no, I didn't take my birth control. All right, so the movie we're gonna watch is called Thanksgiving on Net Verifying Update. Please don't update right now. I just wanna watch a movie. What is happening to my iPad? Oh, hang on. You guys. I mean, even with the, if it was updating, it'd be on the screen. My screen just died. Okay, pause. Um, anyway, we're gonna watch a movie called Thanksgiving. I only watch scary movies. I've seen basically every scary movie on Netflix and this one just got added, which means I haven't seen it yet. So it's gonna be a silly campy movie, I'm sure. Probably lots of gore when it's like, whenever they're themed scary movies like that, like anything Santa Claus related, like you better watch out or Thanksgiving related, you know it's gonna be silly and campy. So they kind of like make up for it in gore. That's what I expect from this one. I watch a lot of scary movie, you guys. What can I say? You guys, I'm so sad. It's been 20 minutes and it's just frozen on this page. In 20 minutes, that hasn't moved. I don't know what to do, um, but my Netflix is on here. All right, my iPad's not working, so we're gonna use Amazon Prime because I have that on my phone and we're gonna watch I Spit on Your Grave. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, do not watch this movie. Zero out of 10. This is torture porn. It is bad acting predictable yet so gruesome and disturbing um don't watch this one wasn't a fan wasn't a fan so i guess since i couldn't watch a movie that means i'm entitled to two and a half hours of TikTok time in my beanbag chair that sounds like a good night to me oh good night to you too